By the end of today, you could have an extra $100 in your bank account. By tomorrow, $200. And by this time next week, there could be well over 500 bucks in there. Not through some get-rich-quick scam or nasty little pyramid scheme, but by making an honest buck for honest work. Remember that? When you could put in a day's work and get a day's pay? That's what this brief presentation is all about. Getting paid. It's not about free money or dollars that fall from the sky into your welcoming arms. It's about getting paid good money to do a variety of interesting, fun tasks from your computer or out in your community. Sometimes you could earn $10 an hour, sometimes 15 and sometimes double that. Now, if you're not interested in making $500 a week or more, close this video right now. I don't want to waste your time. But if you're ready to get paid, I'm ready to show you how. Hi, my name's Chris, and I've spent the last nine months of my life tracking down and carefully recording the most reliable, most interesting, most lucrative opportunities on the web. And I want you to get immediate access. You can earn up to $500 a week, more if you're really committed, and you name your own hours. You have no boss, you pick and choose the tasks that seem interesting to you or that look as though they will earn you the most money. If you want to go on vacation or even just to the park with your kids, you never have to ask for time off again. And best of all, there's no extensive training, no trial periods or unpaid assessments. When you work, you get paid. Simple as that. And in most cases, the work is so straightforward that anyone can do it with just a couple of minutes of instruction. I've heard this described as my dream job by more than a few people. One of them even called it a lifesaver because as a single mom with two kids, she couldn't find anything else flexible enough to keep her afloat. Now let's face it, $500 a week isn't going to buy you a private jet anytime soon. I'm not promising you anything unrealistic. So I know what you're thinking. What do I mean by real work and real pay? Well, it depends on the project. Here's one example. Let's say that a company is putting together a directory of restaurants. Your job is simply to do a quick Google search to find out the correct current address for each business. Now, every time you find a correct address, you get paid. It's a simple task, but it can translate to $12 an hour. Now, that's not a fortune. It's a job, something millions of families are still struggling to find, something that will pay your car payment or electrical bill or music lessons for your kid. And of course, the more complex the task, the more you get paid. You could make good money doing everything from data entry to labeling photos. Proofreading pays a little more. Picking up groceries for a neighbor pays an average of $35. Solving engineering problems for NASA, if you happen to actually be a rocket scientist, that'll go a long way toward paying off your mortgage. Maybe you're asking yourself, why the sudden demand for online workers? It's a great question, and there are two answers. First, it's simply more convenient for everyone. Most of these tasks are short-term and don't warrant a full-time employee. So in the past, a company requesting the task would have to hire a temp, a temporary worker. But then they have to provide office space, pay the temp agency, find someone who would turn up reliably during their office hours, and so on. And some of these projects are so gigantic that they would need an army of temps to complete them.